I saw it at Sundance there, and the family was there, and it was, uh, it was very emotional. I think there were a lot of people there to, uh, to listen to um, his mother and brother who were there. John, what, uh, what, what got you involved in this? And you, uh, you were, were you part of the process the, uh, from beginning to end? Yeah, if so, uh, you're making this movie. It's, it's a story that's set a few years ago. I assume Obama got elected while you guys were making this. And you said, well, now nobody's going to be thinking about Afghanistan anymore because it's all going to be over. And, <laughs> you know. Yeah. <clears throat> um, well, yeah, I, uh, um, the film came about because back home in London, I was... I mean, I remember reading the story that Pat had left his NFL contract and joined the military, and I'm a ludicrously obsessive sports fan, all sports, so I was kind of amazed by that, and, I, and it registered with me, and then, and then, you know, subsequently I remembered reading the next story, which was the terrible story of his death, and just immediately, because I've, for reasons I don't really know, always been a conspiracy theory hysteric, immediately just thought, whatever I'm about to read, I know there's going to be something fishy about it it's not it's going to be a version of a story that isn't going to be real and I uh, so I was I was very intrigued and um, at the time I was making another film working with a company over here in New York and 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 one of the guys who worked there had worked with Marie Tillman at uh, ESPN and so I I remember talking to Amir about this as an idea of a film and you know we thought it would be interesting to pursue so I um I asked this guy if maybe he could organize for us to have a conversation with Marie, and we literally cold called her. And, uh, and that was the beginning of the process. It was, uh, you know, we had a sort of very tentative conversation with her, and she was basically totally disinterested in the concept of having a documentary made, but she very graciously agreed. She was coming to New York. She agreed to meet with us, and we had a, we had a first meeting with her, and that meeting went well, and she agreed to... We said we'd fly out to Los Angeles and spend a couple of weeks there, and would she, you know, could we sort of workshop our ideas together with her so she could get a sense of what it is we were trying to do? And uh, and actually, I, I think the basis of our pitch, if that's the right word, was was was. I mean, what we felt was that someone was going to make this story because it's a remarkable and shocking story, and he was this extraordinary guy. And and I felt like. You know, the Tillmans had a choice. They could wake up one day and turn the TV on and watch some awful documentary that someone had made without them about Pat that would horrify them, no doubt, and be completely inaccurate. Or they could work with these people, with us, who, who had a track record in making, you know, for the most part, quality feature documentaries, which were sort of rooted in the truth and be part of that process. And, um, and I think, you know, Marie relatively swiftly th decided that that was, that was you know, a good idea and, and that we were right and someone would make that film and they would rather be part of it than not be part of it. Can I just add that we were aided by, by uh, other filmmakers who had actually gone forward and, made, and written scripts and put them on her desk um, you know, in hopes that she would approve um, and, and hand over the life rights. And th we actually shot a scene um, that was a comic relief scene. It didn't make it into the film, but maybe it'll be a DVD extra where we, we asked her to read these scripts, and it's, it's really comedic. Uh, there's a scene where Pat, um, uh, it's just after 9-11, and he's watching it on television, and, and he starts throwing chairs all around the room, and then he gets on a Harley and just drives, just drives into the sunset, you know? And she's reading these things and going, yeah, there, there were no chairs. And then it gets even funnier, actually, there's the scene where Pat Sr. leads the family in prayer. You know, the people just, I mean, really, um, it's true. John, you know, said, like, somebody's going to do this. <laughs> it wasn't so much that we were selling us, but he was selling that we weren't them, and it worked. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Josh, um, what, what brought you into this project? I, last, last time I saw you, uh, your wife was handing me um, a little statue, and we were yeah, being, thank boo you we were being booed off the stage. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and I always wanted to apologize to her so for kind. I will do dragging it for her you. into that. Too. I'll give you her email. <laughs> um, I, I, basically, as a, as a fan, Dan, uh, John's brother, Daniel Batsik, who I know from, from the Miramax days in No Country, um, called me and said, would you like to be a part of this? And I just said, I can't. I'm too busy. I have too much stuff going on. And I was here working, and they sent me um, a DVD, and he just said, as a favor, will you watch 10 minutes of it? And I knew the basic story, but I didn't know um, the depths of it at all. 
And what I liked about it, I mean, I was extremely moved by it. So basically, I'm a representative, and I'm the same as, as you guys, of you guys, and the same as you guys in watching it. I was extremely moved by it. Um, we're, we're from the same area and the same mentality, and I liked that it didn't really get into, you know, partisanship. It didn't get into, you know, that there are things about past, past life and also about in the area that I grew up in, Paso Robles, California, which is also Central Coast, very Republican area. But... It's so bucolic that it's extremely personal, and that's what I love about Pat's life, and that's what I love about his family, is it's, it doesn't lean either way. It's not a moral majority thing. They seem to uh, you know, beat to their own drum, and that's pretty much it. And even, the, even though he did the most incredible thing, uh, sacrifice and wanting to look back on his own legacy, um, with some peace, he, uh, he, he enlisted, which I have a lot of respect for.